lion doesn't go into battle worrying about how it feels, worried about how sharp its tools are, worried about how it compares to other lions. A lion goes into battle willing to do whatever it takes to get what it wants, to get what it deserves. Mental well-being should be the exact same thing. And the status quo right now, unfortunately, isn't working. We read five, six self-help books, and then we're told to change X, Y, and Z. We're told to grind and push ourselves, and then sit and wait to feel that change. That's not sustainable. So what have I seen in people that have gone from way down here to so far up, they can't even comprehend? I say, how did you get through your challenge? How did you get through your struggles? They look back, even reflecting, and they didn't have a plan. They didn't have check boxes. They didn't have expectations. And the most interesting thing is if you ask them if they grinded, if they had to push themselves, they never did. What they would say is that they were pulled to do the tough things. There's two ways to hear that you're not good enough. There's two ways to hear that you can't handle it. There's two ways to hear that your business idea won't work. There's two ways to hear that you're not a good enough athlete. There's two ways to get out of bed in the morning. When that alarm goes off at 6 a.m., it's minus 30 outside. The story we have right here, the 10% of our mind that we can control, that narrative, we all have it. No matter how low or how crummy we may feel, whether we like it or not, we are telling ourselves a story that you can handle the challenges in front of you or that you can't. You have a story in your mind telling you how strong you are, or the opposite. You have a why. Why am I gonna get out of bed right now? Why am I gonna push through this? That story is telling the 90% of our brain that makes all our decisions, that controls all our motivations, controls our instincts, our intuition. We're telling that survival part of our brain if we can handle it. And if we tailor that story in our mind, if we find our why, now we're not grinding. We're not pushing ourselves through the tough things. When that alarm goes off, we are pulled to get out of bed. We are jumping out of bed at the opportunity that exists just like the lion. We've changed the narrative in our mind to go from fear and apprehension that's cloudy and blurry and checkboxes and what we need to do and how we need to feel. That doesn't matter. We start running on instinct. We start thinking clearly. We start playing on offense. I have a question for everyone in this room. What is the story you have in your mind right now? What are you telling yourself about how powerful, how creative, how resilient you are? And more importantly, why? Peel back the layers, not just to be good, not just to play a good game, it's deeper than that, why? Why is it you wanna be better than you are right now? If you ask me that question, I know if someone sees me taking on the challenge, they're gonna join in and fight with me. Because I know if I take on this challenge, I'm gonna inspire someone else to do the same thing. And when you have a why so strong that you'll do anything, that's when our mind clears. That's when the concern that we have for how we feel disappears and a sense of inner control and strength takes its place. If you can tell yourself right now that you're the hero of your story, or if you can think of someone, something, a reason that you would fight through anything, I'd like you to stand up. I see a room full of people that have just proven that they have the ability to control that story in their mind. A story that's going to turn into power, fuel, energy, resilience to remind us of the power we have to look challenge in the eye. To take that step into the storm and become the absolute best version of ourselves. How many people here are the hero of their story?